Oxford Bookworms, Stage 1 A Ghost in Love and Other Plays by Michael Dean Published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2007 One Ghost for the Day, One Ghost for the Night Performed by Ben Elliott, Lawrence Kennedy, Sarah Markland, Coraline Sheldon and Terry Wilton One ghost for the day, one ghost for the night. Scene 1. A ghost comes to Richard Little. The year is 1653. It is a cold, dark winter night, and Richard Little, a man of forty, is sitting in his chair. He is reading a book. He hears something. He goes to the window, looks out, and then goes back to the chair. His wife Mary comes in. She is making a dress. She has the dress in her hand. Mary, I can hear something outside. There's nothing there. Read your book, Richard. Come and sit with me. No, I'm making a dress. I'm going upstairs. Mary, please. There's something out there. Oh, Richard. Hello, Richard. Ah! Oh! You! James! James Heston! But you... you are dead. Yes, I am dead. But I can't find peace because of you. Because of me? Why? Why because of me? Beth had a new husband after me. That animal, Keech. Yes. Beth was a good woman and a good sister to me. I said to her, don't go with Keech. Think of James. He's dead now. She was Keech's wife for only three months. Then she died. And now Keech has my son. And he has my son's money. Ah, I understand now. Oh, you remember now? Before I died, I said to you, my boy gets my money at twenty-one and not before. He is eight now. Eight. And Keech has his money. I'm sorry about that. But what can I do? You must get my boy's money. Get it from Keech. No. Keech can kill me with one hand. He's big. He always has a knife in his pocket. Last year he killed a man with that knife. I'm afraid of him, James. Are you afraid of me? No. Oh, yes, a little. You're a ghost. Only a little, eh? Look at the table. Oh, no. The table is moving. Oh, no. Oh, the chair is moving now. And now my chair is moving. James, don't do this to me. At this minute, Keech is building a new home in a village near here with my son's money. Stop him. I'm sorry, James. I can't. I didn't want. That was my hand, but... James, can you get in my head? Can you tell my hand? <laughs> yes, Richard. And your answer is going to be yes. Or you are going to do this again and again and again and... Oh, 
I'm going mad. Why does my hand throw a book when I don't want to? Can all dead people do this? Can they get into man's head so he moves a chair or throws a book? Oh, yes. Now, I can do it to you again, or you can say yes and get my son's money. Which? But how? How can I get the money from Keech? Sit down. I'm going to tell you.